Hi, I'm Ron Zimmett of Zimmett and Quarles. I want to warn you today about something that you probably didn't think might be a problem for your quality of life later on. That's a living will. You wouldn't think a living will would be a problem. However, the Florida Standard Living Will form can in fact be a problem, can result in a real problem for your quality of life. A living will is your opportunity to give clear direction to your health care providers and to a health care surrogate who makes decisions for you about your medical care when you're not competent to do so. It's not a will that disposes of your property and assets. The Florida Legislature created a statute, Section 765.303 Florida Statutes, that contains a standard form living will. The problem is that many people sign the standard form without careful thought. People sign the form and think they've completed all the planning they need to do. Nothing could be further from the truth. Without clear direction from you, there are many circumstances in which your health care providers may provide care much differently than the way you want. Here are three examples. First, do you want your health care providers to have the ability to withhold both nutrition and hydration? And if so, under what circumstances? Second, do you want your health care surrogate to be able to authorize experimental procedures? What one person considers experimental may be different from another. For instance, health insurance companies frequently deny payment of a claim for procedures they consider experimental. You may want a specific treatment to keep you alive, even if it is experimental. Third, do you want a feeding tube, and if so, under what circumstances? These are just some of the circumstances that are possible, that could be a problem for you later on, and they're not covered in the standard living will. So these are the kinds of decisions you should make before you're sick and while you're mentally capable. These are the kinds of things you should talk to your family about, talk to your health care surrogate about. Unfortunately, just signing the standard form has the effect of encouraging people to think they've done enough planning when they have not. Therefore, it could be really harmful to your future quality of life. For more information on related health care topics, see our nursing and medical malpractice section and our frequently asked questions section on our website, zqlawyers.com. For now, I'm Ron Zimmett of zqlawyers.com, and I appreciate you listening.